So in this video we're going to be learning how to create a web crawler using PHP. Uh, and this tutorial has been requested for ages so I'm finally getting around to doing it. Uh, so what a web crawler is, is it's uh, a piece of software that uh, takes a web address as input and then it uh, goes to that website, gets a list of all the links on the website, gets the content from the website, for example the title, the description, um, the keywords and some of the content on the page and it will store that in a database and it will also um, take a list of every link on the page and then it will um, take those links and use them as input and then follow those links and it will keep going and going and going and it just goes on and on and on and on. So it might be kind of hard to understand because it can actually go on forever because um, you're just following links and links and links and it just goes on and on. So what I made is this uh, sort of diagram to show you. So here we have um, input, which in this case is bestspace.co. This is the website we're going to be using as input. And what this does is when we get uh, bestspace.co, you can see it gives us an array. And this array is the list of all the links it could get off the first page of the best space website. So it could get the deals page, about us page, uh, why choose us page, products, and etc. And it goes all the way down to cookies, which is the last link on the page. And the reason the... Um, best deals page is um, sort of uh, bold is because that's the first link on the page and that means um, that that's the next link it's going to go to so it's got all these links first and then if we go next so the reason you're seeing um, the same sort of array for the best deals page is because the links on all the pages are almost exactly the same uh, but you have to check them anyway just to make sure because um, you don't want to miss a link if you have a search engine so this array is actually an array that's built up over all the pages. So the way our crawler works is it um, has an array that's originally empty and then as soon as it starts crawling it starts adding links into this array. And then whenever it's filled up the array to a certain number, we haven't decided yet, but whatever number we choose, then it will decide to actually crawl those websites and get their content. So if I uh, go to the next one now, you can see this is the uh, full array. And this is all the pages on the best space website that the uh, crawler can get to. So there's 39 in total. I'm not sure if it's cut off or not. Uh, I apologize if it is. But you can see that uh, the array has got longer and longer and longer as the crawler has found more pages as it's uh, gone through the site. And when it gets to all the pages, when all the pages have been found, that's when we're going to actually crawl each page individually um, and get the content. We actually did crawl all the pages to uh, get this complete list of links. We had to crawl every page. But we didn't actually take any content off it, we were just looking for links on the pages. So let's actually make the web crawler. So obviously we're going to start with PHP tags. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a function called getLinks. And this is going to be the function that goes on each web page and uh, gets the links from the web page. And what it's going to do is it's going to take um, one parameter, which is a variable called URL, and down here, so down here what we'll say is get underscore links to run the function, and we will pass it a website to run. Uh, we'll just give it a variable called to crawl and go up here and we will so here we're just going to say to underscore crawl and we're going to say uh, set that equal to best spaces web address the reason we're not using high code is because um, one of the links on the web page one of the links on high code takes you to my youtube channel which would in turn take the crawler to youtube and since youtube's massive the crawler would just go on and on and on forever um, on youtube so uh, so we're keeping it at best space because best space doesn't link to any massive website like YouTube, which will just go on forever. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the actual input file. So we'll say input equals file get contents. The reason we have the add symbol before it is because that way if there's anything wrong with the file get contents function, for example, if the file is not found, then um, we won't get an error, so our crawler will keep crawling. And the file name we want to give it is the URL. And out here, what I'm just going to say is echo input. So if we go to Google Chrome now and we refresh the page, we should just get the best space website echoed out to us, as you can see we do. But we don't actually need them to because uh, we're not worried about them at the moment. So we can see we're getting the uh, web address. So what we'll do now, uh, what we'll do now is we'll create a regular expression that's going to find every link on the page. So what a regular expression is is um, it's a pattern that we uh, it's um, a pattern that we look for. So for example, if I had a href, I said hello, and I had some other stuff. So I said HTML. Oops. 
So I had this, and this was a full page, and then I just put this in the body. We need a way to only get the um, the uh, links and not and to ignore all the rest of this. So that's what we're going to be using a regular expression for. Uh, I'll just paste it in because the regular expression looks uh, it actually looks crazy. Here it is. Here it's really long, and what it, all you need to know is that um, it finds all the links on the page. It can um, using this regular expression, we can make sure we only pick up the links on the web page and we ignore everything else. So just copy and paste or uh, copy it in as it is, or you can copy it from the code in the description as well. So we've got our regular expression. So now what we're going to do after we've got a regular expression is we're going to paste in this. It's the preg underscore match all function and that's what's actually going to do the matching. That's what's going to find all the links on the page. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say print underscore r and we're going to print matches which is an array. So uh, when we print this, let's just refresh, you'll see we'll get an array echoed out to us. And as you can see, this is an array that uh, it doesn't just get links. So what we need to do is we need to get the second element of the array because it's actually an array of arrays. So we need the second element because the second element is the part that has all these links. As you can see here, here's the links. I want to get rid of all this uh, crap above it and below it. So if we refresh now, we'll just get the links echoed out to us. And uh, you can see it a bit better if I surround this in pre-tags. If I go down here and I put another, or I close the pre-tags off. And you can see this looks a lot more like the array from the uh, diagrams at the start. So here we have all the links on the page. And, what we're gonna, and it even has uh, emails and we do have ways of dealing with emails as well. So now we know we've got that, we can get rid of that and we can uh, continue on making our web crawler. So what I'll do now is I'll create a variable called L and I'll set it equal to the matches array, which is the second element of the matches array, uh, which contains an array. So L is actually an array as well. And L is the array of our links. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say for each, whoops, uh, we just want to say for each L as, uh, say, link. What I'll do is I'll say echo link. And I'll put in um, a break tag as well so you can see them on a new line. So you can see this is going to echo out all of our links on our page. So here you can see all our links. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of any links that look like this. So let's say we had uh, bestspace.co forward slash uh, test and then it had a hashtag symbol and it said hello world. Oops, actually that would be wrong. Hello world. So you can see um, this is the sort of link you might get. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to have a link that looks like this and then another link below here and say this is uh, Francis. Because if you know anything about HTML, you'll know that this and this are the exact same page. They're just different parts of it. And if we have a search engine, we don't want to be indexing the same page multiple times just because of something like this. So we're going to get rid of the hashtag now. So what we're going to do is we, if we see a page like this, we're just going to strip the hashtag and we're just going to store the actual page. So these two pages would be identical to the search engine. So what we need to do is we need to say uh, if strpose, which is the function in PHP that we use to find if something's in a string, um, we're going to, we first have to pass it the parameter of the link we want to look in. So this is the string we want to search. And we, the next thing we pass is the actual thing we want to search for, which in this case is the hashtag. And what we do now, since um, we don't need to, you know, set equals uh, anything, because uh, by default, if we have this and the uh, function returns true, so if a hashtag is found, we just want to say link equals um, sub str, which is the function in PHP used to shrink strings or take chunks out of strings or get certain parts of them or whatever. So the first variable we pass it is the link variable, which is our actual string. Then we want to pass it uh, the uh, zero, uh, the number zero. That's because that means we want to start at the beginning of the string, and then we want to end um, at the position where we find this uh, hashtag. And what this function returns is, um, and I actually didn't explain it properly, if this function returns anything other than zero, the if statement will run, and what this function returns is the position in the string where the hashtag is found. So we just need to say, uh, str, uh, str pose, and we'll say link, and then we'll pass it the uh, hashtag. 
So this should uh, shrink our string. So if we see any links that have a hashtag in them, uh, then uh, you will see that the hashtag gets, or everything after the hashtag is taken off. So uh, if we run this now, we'll just see a blank page. That's because we're not echoing out anything, but um, that's what it's designed to do. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to say if uh, sub str link uh, 0, 1, which means if the first character in the, in the um, URL that we're looking at, so if the first character in the link um, is equal to a dot, then what we're going to say is uh, link equals sub str link uh, 1. So we're just going to cut off the dot if there's a dot at the beginning. So with sort of uh, way you would see a dot is if you had a link like this. Uh, say, say I was on my website and I had a link to another page. So if, if I was linking to a page, say, um, say I'm on bestspace.co and I ha I'm on the index page and I want to link to the about page. I wouldn't necessarily always say bestspace.co slash about. What I would probably do is just say dot for or dot slash about, which means the exact same thing. It's just a way shorter way of writing it. So if we see a page like this, which I think we will do, so let's just echo. Uh, let's just uh, go up here and echo it first. Uh, echo link uh, and get rid of these, obviously. Oops, let's just put the break tag in. So you can see here it's we uh, have we we have those links there. We have a link we have links that start with a dot. So we don't want our links to start with a dot, so uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of them. So as you can see if I bring this echo below here, you'll see the dot will disappear. And you can see the dot disappeared. So unfortunately I'm way over time on this video, so in the next video we'll be continuing on in our web crawler. So before I go I actually just want to show you something. So you can see here there's a website called paste.com, P-A-A-S-T-E dot com. So this is a new website I just made, um, I didn't actually write it myself, I got, um, I used uh, some source code that someone else made, I just put it on a website. So what it is, is it's a place where you can paste source code. So you can see here I'm about to paste the source code from this tutorial into this website here and if I uh, just click save you can see it saved it here and it is um, saved and syntax highlighted and it's got its own page on the website so this means you can come and get source code from anywhere here you can paste your own source code you can paste whatever you want here and uh, you will be able to save it and share it with people and whatever so this is what I'm going to do to uh, give out source code that's in a single file from now on. So the website is paaste com. so paste.com and you can use that website yourself to store your own source code or you can um, use it just to get mine. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.